Hello, I'm gonna show you my ducks. It's a little bit windy out here today, but there they are. There's the four. They're Pekings. I actually found out one of them is a specific breed of Peking known as the Owlsbury or something like that. So they're gonna come up here. One of them's limping, don't worry, he's fine. Um, I took him to the vet, the vet said he's okay. That's Squaggles, the one who just came up. Uh, that's the girls and that's Marvin down there. He's the one that's limping. So he's not gonna wanna come up here. So I'm gonna just take the food down there to him. So I feed them, um, come on, we're going down here. So I feed them this organic feed. Scratch, peck feeds, it's, they love it, so. And Marvin's gonna run off, because he thinks I'm about to kill him. Marvin, oh my gosh. Marvin, you dummy. This is some nice organic feed for him. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you know what that means. Come on, Squaggles. Come on. Come on. There you go. Uh, that's Sif and that's Frig. I can only tell the difference between them when they're together. Sif is slightly bigger. They're almost out of food. So I need to go get them more. You guys sit there. I'm going to feed more of it. Here you go, Marvin. Come on. Wow, it's windy out today. Are you guys leaving? I already fed them this morning, so I'm not too worried to leave. There you go, Marvin. There's food right there. But yeah, I feed them this scratch and peck feeds. Um, soy free, whole grain, it's organic, non-GMO. I don't care that it's non-GMO. I just got it because I want the girls to start laying eggs soon. Um, they're getting around that age. They're around six months, so should be any day now. And one of them likes to squeak when she eats. I don't know why, <laughs> but um, I think so she's like choking on it or something because it's dry. But then she still does it when it's in the water, I don't know. But, so that's Squaggles, Squaggles. Uh, that's Frig, and that's Sif. Sif likes to squeak. So, Marvin's over there eating, so we're all getting, I'm building them a coop soon. Uh, I already have like an old coop for him right there. You can probably see that. Um, but, after that, I'm gonna put it probably right there, actually, behind that shed. Um, and I'm still gonna let them out every day, because right now they're free range, and they have this whole lake to themselves. I mean, they share it with a few geese, but those geese are about to leave. So, you can actually hear them. Um, there's a few scop around here. There's actually three seagulls that live around here that these guys share the lake with. Uh, sorry about the wind. Um, but you know, Marvin's eating, so we're all good. I already fed him today. So, anyways, those are my four ducks. I know there's only three right here, but it's because the other one's right there. But Marvin's my favorite. <laughs> I'm just gonna go out and say it. The girls are nice, I like the girls, but they're rescue ducks. Marvin, I'm gonna wait for the wind to die down. Uh, I got Marvin and Squaggles as ducklings with one other female. Sadly, that female didn't make it, but um, the two girls I got um, back in October, and they're, they're, they're happy. They, were, they, weren't, they weren't in a very good area. They didn't have any water to swim around in, so 
they didn't know how to swim very well. <laughs> they were fully grown when I got them. And, um, well, I, when I say fully grown, they're, they were mostly white. Uh, they'd lost most of their down and everything. So when they did not like the water because they had never swam before. Oh, there you go, Marvin. Look at that big man. See if we can get him walking. You guys are going to leave right when Marvin gets up here? Come on, Marvin. Okay, watch him limp. He's actually gotten a lot better. For a while, he wasn't able to walk at all. Come on. For a while, Squaggles and Marvin were getting... We're getting into it, but they've they've mellowed out. Squaggle, stop eating Marvin's food. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll probably update some more about them. And again, sorry for the wind.